Welcome to the violin case, future violin players. You're um, hopefully at this point, we're moving on to page seven, and I'm hoping that you have gotten pretty clear about your bow arm and the pull of the bow, and you've spent a good time on open strings, and then you've done just your very beginning exercises of open string to third finger, with all three fingers going down with the pattern of whole step between first and second and a half step between second and third. They're friends. Um, we're going to move on to page seven now. And page seven, a little different than page six in that I want you to know the names of these notes. So you know this is open G and it's on the space. If we go up one ledger, ledger line below the staff on the line, that is the very next note in your musical alphabet. And because our musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, once you hit G, you start over again at A. So this is open G, and the next note up from G is A. And that is your first finger tape. So let's get your position set up. Your bow is tight. You're comfortable, relaxed. And we're going to start on the G string with a half note. And then in this time, instead of putting third finger and second finger down, you're just going to put first finger down. And that first finger, even though second and third aren't being played, they're going to hover over the string like a hovercraft. They're not going to go down because that'll screech the string, but they're going to stay there ready to play if they need to be. And you're going to go G, then A first finger, and say A, so G, A, so on. So there's your G notes. Now there's a pattern of half note, quarter notes, then a whole note. Then we go to the D string and D, then we're going to go up to first finger on the D string. So A, B, C, D, E is the very next note. So D open to first finger is called E. I want you to stare at the music, look at your music, and say the names out loud when you're doing these. This is a pattern, and some people have had come back for the lesson the next time. They know the pattern, but they don't know the names of the notes. I can't like point to that, and they'll go, oh, that's an F sharp. So and in your um, work this week, it's important that you look at these notes, and you say them, and you play them, so you're hearing it, you're feeling where it is on your instrument, and you're seeing where it is on your music, and you say it out loud as well. So there's um, lots of different learning um, techniques that we're using to get this in your long-term brain. So then same pattern, half note, quarter note, whole note for D and E. So let's do D and E. So you have D. Then E, first finger, and third and second hover, but don't touch. D, E. And then if we look ahead to measure 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we then go to A. Well, what would be after A? A, then B, right? So you've got B as your first finger on the A string. So make sure your fingers are hovering, but they don't just come down, just first finger comes down. Joints are round and relaxed. Make sure you're not putting your finger down. I can't even get mine to do that anymore after all these years. But sometimes I'll have people come back and they'll have done something strange with their first finger and it comes down. You've got your elbow, wrist collapsed, and first finger comes down 
like this instead of like that. I want to make sure that that comes down nice and round and it just comes straight down. Um, then if you get like a bubbly sound, you just don't have enough contact of the string with the fingerboard. So that finger has to come down and the weight of your arm pulls the tip of the finger in to the string. Um, try not to push, squeeze too much with your thumb. Make sure that's just coming down with the weight. Enough, that's enough to come down with just the weight of your fingers down. Um, if you get a glassy sound, it, it can come from your bow being on the wrong place or crooked. If your bow's not parallel to the bridge, you can get a, a strange noise as well. So just watch those things are very important. Then let's go on to 14, 15, 16. So measure 16 is um, at E to first finger on the tape, which is F sharp. And um, there's a sharp missing on that one. You don't need to worry about why it's F sharp right now. That's coming up in the book. But just know that first finger on the tape is E to F sharp, not just regular F. And for now, you'll see that little hashtag off to the side of the F. Um, and I want you to say E F sharp. And not just F because it's not, there is another note that is F, and we will learn that in a little while. Um, so that's you are number one, and you are then welcome to go down on to the open one song all by yourself without me introducing it, because this will take all of the rhythms that we've learned thus far, and it's just open strings and first finger with different rhythms, and then we do have a duet with the open one song as well that in the done and dusted video with we'll we'll put um actually route 404 you are number one in the open one song all in the same done and dusted video which will be the next one um and i want you to spend a good amount of time getting good about still saying the note names looking at your music hearing it um pushing your finger down, make sure you get a solid connection, and make sure your bow is in the right place, because this will be that spot where, oh, I'm doing fingers, and I'm doing bow, and everything gets messed up. So make sure that your position is correct. Make sure that you're not starting to do, oh, let's see, let me put this right in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure you still have your good position off to the side. Sorry, my hair is in the way again. Um, so, holding it here, then being able to look, you can look out the side of your eye, but try not to get to that place where you're like moving your head. Your head is still neutral. You're still looking straight at the music. You're